Voluntary evacuations continue as a wildfire in Bastrop County has grown now to about 375 acres. No reports of any injuries. Earlier today, the Texas A&M Forest Service said the fire was about 50% contained, but it is now only about 10% contained. Officials say firefighters have saved the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center's Science Park. They've also saved at least nine homes. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department closed Bisher State Park because of the fire. Chief Meteorologist Dan Henry in now to talk about our warm weather and any rain maybe down there to help out the fires. I think we're going to get out, yeah some, some rain, but probably not until about the middle of next week. We're stuck in this uh, very warm, dry weather pattern here. And boy, today was no exception. We soared all the way up to 96 this afternoon. Uh, no record set today. The record was a very high one that we were aiming toward, 99 degrees. That record was set way back in 1910, which, coincidentally, this is the hottest day we've seen this late in the year since going all the way back to 1910. So uh, the, the hottest this late in the year in over 100 years. Very unusual to see heat like this in the middle of October. Jerry Madonna starting out at 48 degrees this morning in Weatherford and tacked on over uh, 50 degrees to that afternoon high or nearly 50 degrees topping out at 97 today uh, there in uh, Parker County. We're going to be falling though heading in the right direction. If you are a fan of the cooler air, one more scorcher tomorrow at 94. Friday, your transition day, that's when the cold front comes through. And then behind it, we'll cool off into the low 80s, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of next week. Pollen count was high today, 395, the air quality good, and the UV index was high as well, up at uh, 6 this afternoon. Currently, we've got temperatures in the low 80s still in Dallas and Fort Worth. We've dropped into the mid-70s in both Irving and Plano. Winds continue to blow out of the south at 10 miles an hour. The humidity has crept up a bit to 18%. We are running about 8 to 10% during the mid and late afternoon hours, and it's that low humidity that helped fuel some of those uh, fires that we saw earlier today. 73 McKinney and Bowie, 78 Mineral Wells, 73 in Stephenville, as well as McKinney, and we've already dropped down to 68 degrees off to our east in Greenville. Overnight tonight, temperatures falling back into the 50s up around Denton and in McKinney. McKinney about 56, 62 in Dallas, 60 Cedar Hill, about 60 degrees as well in uh, Grapevine. Not a cloud in the sky uh, this afternoon across North Texas. Lots of sunshine. Here's a look at the uh, State Fair of Texas forecast for tomorrow. Starting out comfortable early on, 78 degrees at 10 o'clock, 93 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. And by 8 o'clock in the evening, we'll be back down to 82 degrees. Here comes the relief. Cool air will be heading southward behind this cold front. The front comes through Friday morning. We'll knock off several degrees on our afternoon high highs come Friday and by Saturday high temperatures will be in that 78 to 81 degree range across North Texas. Look at this. No rain in the past 25 days now, but there could finally be some help on the way. Southerly winds will begin tapping Gulf moisture as we head into early next week. And then as we head towards Wednesday, a strong system coming out of the west and northwest uh, will eventually kick off some showers and thunderstorms here in North Texas. And along with that, we'll see cooler temperatures. Here's your full worn AccuWeather seven day forecast 94 tomorrow, 86 degrees on Friday. Take it down to 81 on Saturday. Lots of sunshine this weekend. Pretty comfortable 82 on Sunday and then a slight chance of rain beginning Tuesday afternoon, becoming a good chance of rain by Wednesday. Wednesday's high only 75.